One of the nice things about the latest Helix update is that the cab models take much less DSP than they used to. Um, in previous Helix versions, when I was creating dual amp presets, we have two amp heads and a single dual cab block. It was basically consuming the entire processing ability of the smaller HX stomps, and it didn't really leave much room for reverbs and uh, like a secondary gain stage and stuff. With the new update, that changes everything, and we can make much more capable presets using two amp blocks. And so in this video, I just want to kind of go over and give an update to a previous type of video that I've done uh, where I talked about using two amp blocks. And so in this video, I just want to go over some tips I have on creating your own dual amp presets. The biggest one you want to make sure you're considering is that if you're keeping it in stereo, making sure that the left and right channels are balanced not only in volume, but in compression as well. If you have a super high gain Marshall on one side and a sparkling Fender Clean on this side, it's going to be really unbalanced. If you want to combine those two types of amp blocks, I recommend panning them down to mono. It's going to be a slightly more complex sound. It's still a really cool, unique sound that you wouldn't be able to get out of just one amp head. But you definitely want to make sure that they're phase aligned. When they're panned out in stereo, that's not as big of a deal, but it's it's worth it to try and check the, the phasing anyway. So let's get into it. I'm going to share with you two presets that I've created and I've been using for a while. Uh, you can steal the settings, recreate it on your own device, and let me know how it sounds. As I was editing this video, I noticed that John Cordy just published a video on basically the exact same topic. So uh, once you're done with this one, definitely go watch his and subscribe to his channel if you haven't yet. He has a lot of great stuff. So this first preset is a combo AC30 and twin. We've got the SXA30 amp head and the US double vibrato. If you didn't know, by the way, the vibrato channel versus the normal channel, the vibrato is a tad brighter, has a little bit more gain on tap, and that goes for the deluxe model as well. Um, so we have both amps in parallel paths here. Blending back down, uh, we keep the A path here, that's the top one pan to the left, and the B pan to the right, which means that when we go into the dual cab block, it's making sure that all of the AC30 amp signal is going to the AC30, the 2x12 Bluebell uh, cabinet, and the twin is sticking with the twin cabinet model. And here's all the settings. I'm using a 47 FET mic and a 414 model on the AC amp. And of course, we're panning these out, but I have phase aligned them. Uh, all these presets, I've phase aligned them. So if you want to run these actually as a dual amp preset blended down to mono for kind of a more complex sound, you can do that. Easiest thing to do is just take the pan control and go dead center. Uh, after this, obviously, you're going to want to make sure that all of your effects are stereo. Cool. So let's check out this preset. <laughs> So that's the quote clean tone. That's the blank slate of the preset with no foot switches engaged. Something I was able to do, um, if you didn't know, by the way, the new cabinet design with 3.50 and make sure you have 3.51 now. That was just a small HX edit update. Um, the new cabin design uses much less DSP. So where these presets were typically just the amp head and the dual cab block and like maybe a legacy reverb or something, I was actually able to add in gain stages. So we have a secondary gain stage. In addition to drive controls that are toggled with amp parameters, we also have an overdrive block here. And we have some other effects. We have a phaser, we have a tremolo, an ambience reverb toggle. So you might not notice this at first, but there's a little bit of ambience that I've dialed in here. And as we press foot switch five, that's gonna give you a much more noticeable ambient sound. When they did the new cab design, they actually got rid of the uh, room reflections parameter, which is fine for me. These new cabs sound amazing. Uh, and as you back up the distance of the mic, you're going to naturally get a little bit more of room reflection as well. But by adding this dynamic ambience block in, we can get much more realistic amp in the room tones, even if you're on headphones. So again, here's the blank slate of the preset with no foot switches engaged. <laughs> Then I can hit foot switch three here, which is going to swap some parameters in the amp models. And I've really paid a lot of attention to make sure that we're getting an equal amount of overdrive from both sides. So it doesn't seem lopsided. You know, if you're holding out a long cord, one's going to have noticeably more compression than the other. And it's going to sound like the left side is maybe louder. So I paid a lot of attention to make sure that we're getting equal amounts of overdrive 
out of both of these amp models. Hit foot switch three. Get rid of that. I'm going to press foot switch two now, which is our distortion pedal, the Diana Drive. It's just a simple bypass. A little bit more present and also a little bit more aggressive than just the amp drive. Uh, of course, we can stack these. This is foot switches two and three put together for um, the highest gain overdrive setting of this preset. So you get the idea. Of course we have the phaser as I mentioned, which is just a simple script mod phaser. It's a phase 95. Um, we have a stereo tremolo. This is something that's not going to work if you're running this preset in mono. It's going to, the left and right sides are going to work together and it's going to sound like nothing has changed except for maybe a slight tonal variance that the, the tremolo block is adding. And as I said, a 3.5 decibel boost on foot switch six. So let's check out the second preset I'm going to go through in this video. Um, and this is a combo matchless and deluxe. So we've got the matchstick channel one and the deluxe normal amp models. We don't have a matchless cabinet yet in the newest uh, cab update. It'll probably come at a later date. But for right now, I'm using the deluxe cabinet with the deluxe and the twin, the 2 by 12 twin uh, with the matchstick. I think it sounded pretty good. So let's check out this preset. It's much cleaner than the other one. At least to start. So this is something I'll use with jazz groups or just anytime I need like a nice warm full sound. Still a little bit of overdrive in there, that's how I like it. So that's the clean tone of the preset. We press foot switch three, which you'll notice it's the same on all these presets. Foot switch three is gonna be your amp overdrive. Uh, so we have an increase in the drive, a decrease in the channel volume, so you get the same output level. Um, in the matchstick model, we're changing the bias quite a bit. Just because I like the quality of overdrive that we get a little bit better uh, with the bias setting higher, and I like the clean sound a little bit better with the bias set low and we're changing the treble value in the deluxe model along with the overdrive. So here's the distorted sound. Turn that off. I'm going to go back to going to clean sound, and I'm going to engage foot switch two, which is our clon overdrive. There's the settings. And it really excels. The clon pushes the overdrive much harder, especially in the mid frequencies. Um, and so when you combine a clon with an already distorting amp, it's a great sound. So 
So yeah, we've got that. We have a delay on foot switch one here, which I just called delay. I like to keep things unison between all my presets, so overdrive's usually on two and three, boost on six. The uh, foot switch five is usually a reverb, and then one and four can be modulations or delays and stuff like that. I didn't have very much um, DSP left over, so I just went with the simple delay in stereo. One of the cool things you can do though when you're using stereo delays is mess with this scale parameter. If you have headphones on or wide speakers, you're gonna notice it bouncing from left to right. The scale parameter here kind of deals with the tempo relationship between the left channel and the right. Yeah, so on the left we heard just one repeat on the left side all the way to the right. At the maximum parameter, we have a, a mono delay. Somewhere in here, we're gonna hear the delay on the right side, but somewhere in the middle, we can get different combinations of, yeah, rhythmic relationships. So right there is kind of the middle point, where it's equally bouncing left and right. I believe I had this set somewhere like 34. Yeah, so one of the cool tricks you can do, especially if you're running low on DSP, is go with a stereo simple delay. Uh, and this can be applied to mono presets too. Um, and just mess with the scale and you get a slightly more complex sound to it. Foot switch four is just a tremolo here. And as with the other preset, foot switch five toggles some parameters in the ambience block for an actual reverb as opposed to just a, a slight room sound like we were getting before. So that's my demo of at least two of these dual amp presets. As I said, I have them for humbuckers and single coil guitars. You saw the settings on the screens we went through, so you can try recreating them. If you want to check out any of these presets, I'm going to have a link in the description, the complete preset library. Like I said, free updates for life. I'm always adding stuff. So thanks again for watching the video. If you haven't yet, hit the like button down below if you found it helpful. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I have over 80 Helix videos at this point, I believe. Tutorials, um, stuff where I'm just showing off the presets that I've built with the settings and everything so you can take them if you want. And just ideas on, on how to build presets and some unique things we can do in the Helix that isn't explicitly advertised. I also just finished putting together an accessory page on my website. And basically it's just kind of a summary of all these different accessories that greatly expand the capabilities of the HX Stomp. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.